Um, I went to bed like at 1 in the morning, so there was no reason for me to wake up um, this early. So I sprung out of bed at 5 in the morning, and um, I just felt like I needed to go on a walk. And it was really random, because it's 5 in the morning, the sun wasn't out yet, I was like really tired, but I felt like I needed to go on a walk, like I, like I needed to hear from God, and like, just like he wanted to speak something to me. And I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. But I went outside, I put on my big winter coat, and I start walking. And I just felt like really insecure as I was going out. Um, I was walking past houses and all their motion lights were going off. And so I was like, this is, I was to look really weird walking out in my big winter coat. Because we're in Arizona, it was cold, but you know, like not like parka weather, like I was wearing. And so I was walking around and I, and I end up going to the park. And, like, cars are passing by, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Like, they probably think I'm homeless. Like, walking around the, walking around the park at 5 in the morning in my big jacket. Um, so I go, and I sit on this cold metal bench, and I'm just like, okay, God, if there's something you want to say, like, hurry up. It's really cold, and I'm really sleepy. Um, so I sit there for, like, 20 minutes, and I'm just, like, looking around, like, my shoulder. And it's really uncomfortable and insecure. So I'm there for a good 15, 20 minutes, and I'm like, okay, well, this was pointless. I'm just going to start walking back. And so I start walking back um, to my house. And I'm like, wow, that was a waste of time. And I'm just like, God, like, what was the point of that? And then a thought occurred to me. is like, why am I so insecure and so uncomfortable right now? And, and that's when I realized, like, the reason I wasn't able to really, like, hear from God and hear, you know, like, what he really wanted to speak in that moment was these insecurities and uncomfortabilities I had in that moment. And so as soon as I got over that barrier, as soon as I, I got over that, that hurdle, um, like, God just began reminding me of just who I was and, like, who he had called me to be. You know, like, just thoughts of, like, Moses coming back, came to my, came to memory of, you know, like, how he was in the wilderness for so long, and then God calls him to go back to, to, to the Israelites, and he's like, no, I can't speak, and he's like, well, I'll give you the words to speak, and, and then, and then thoughts of Joshua came to mind, of, you know, Joshua's like, God, like, man, like, how do I follow up Moses, like, he was Moses, he parted the Red Sea, how do I follow that up, and, and, and you know, in Joshua, God tells, God tells him, you know, like, I will make you a leader that people will want to follow. And, you know, like, I was just reminding me of, of these things, like, who, who I was as a person and who, who he made me to be. And so as I was becoming reassured in myself and getting over these insecurities, um, one of the thoughts that came to my mind was, like, I need to go back to the community where I first started. Um, and to give some history, when, when God really first called me into, the mini into like really ministering on my campus at ASU, it was to the Filipino community. It was like, I need to go to, to my Filipino friends and, and, and just be there with them and be able to love them and, and to get to know them. Um, and, and, and I've kind of like drifted from that recently. But, you know, like on that morning, I felt like I was calling me back, go back there. And one of the things that came to mind was remind them of who they are. And I was like, okay, like, what does that mean? Reminding, like, reminding Filipinos who they are. I was like, I don't even know who we are. What am I supposed to remind them of? Um, and so I was like, okay, well, maybe it means I need to go study and do some more research on my Filipino thesis stuff, and it's going to make people really excited or something like that. And I was like, okay. So I go on the Internet, you know, I'm just looking for stuff, and I find some really cool things that I didn't find before. And I was like, okay, well, this is really interesting. And so the next day, I'm doing a search um, on the Internet for stuff, and I some way, somehow stumble on this website and it's, you know, called Ako I Filipino. And I was like, what is this? And so I look at it, and it's, it's this book, and it, and it was written a week ago. It, well, it was released a week ago when I first found it. And I was like, wow, this is pretty crazy. And it's like, you know, like, we believe that God has a destiny for Filipinos, but they don't know what it is sometimes, and we have to, like, tell them what it is and remind them of what it's all about. And I was like, huh, this is really interesting. It's kind of similar to what I really feel like I was putting in my heart just, like, a couple days ago. So I'm on this website, and I'm like, hey, I'm really interested in this book. Can you send me a copy somehow? Um, and I got a reply. It's like, well, the book hasn't even been premiered yet. It's actually going to be premiered in a couple days. And we're in the Philippines, so I don't know how we can send you a copy. And I was like, oh, okay, well, it was worth a try. Whatever. Um, <laughs> um, the next day, I get a, another message from 
from the person who was moderating the website. And they're like, actually, um, some of the founders of the movement are going to be in Arizona this week. Give me your email address, and I will send it to them. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> so here's my email address. Email me. So, you know, I send them the email. You know, I wait a few days, um, and then I get this email. Um, and it's from David and Lauren Joannis, and they're like, hey, we heard you're interested in the book. You want to meet up sometime? I'm like, yeah, of course. Um, so we try one day, and it didn't work through. didn't go through. Um, and then the next time we tried to get, get in contact, they were actually coming to ASU to watch um, their dad in a racquetball tournament. So we met there and um, got this book from them. And um, it was just one of these moments that it was like really like a God appointed moment where it was just like so random and so coincidental um, with a naked eye but like seeing what God is doing amongst the Filipino, Filipino community um, is just it's amazing it's like it's no coincidence there's something happening um, and God is really reawakening and reminding Filipinos of who they are where they come from and, and what their destiny is um, and so without further ado I want to introduce to you um, 